Hey what's up guys, it's Austin here from Royal Highness Pythons and in today's video I got a very exciting clutch I'm putting away for you guys. Before we get into that cool stuff, huge shout out to Backroad Morphs. Thanks for this super cool shirt. Changes color in the light. And he's definitely not slacking on the sleeve. It says hashtag Team Austin. Nor is he slacking on the back. So definitely go and check him out. I would appreciate it. He would appreciate it. Back road morphs, and we'll get right into me pulling the clutch, and then I'll show you the dad, and I'll get into some of the possibilities that we can make. So let's do that right now. So right here's the clutch. It's from my pastel yellow belly het clown girl, and she was paired to my spot nose asphalt slash yellow belly het clown male. So I'm aiming to hit some freeway clowns if we can prove that male to be asphalt. But if we don't, some ivory clown, the spot nose ivory clown would be amazing. You can see she's a little bit feisty right now. So right here is the male of the clutch. It's my spot nose asphalt slash yellow belly, 100% head clown male. And you can really see his nice spot nose head stamp, as well as all the really nice flaming coming up the sides, especially here from the yellow belly or asphalt. And fingers crossed that this guy proves out to be asphalt because if he does, we can hit some super cool freeway clowns. We'd we'll love to see what a spot nose freeway clown looks like. And hopefully he can prove out for me here and we can do that. She did lay these the other day. This is a day late. I'm grabbing them. So if you do have a clutch that's laying right now, you do not have to go and tend to it right away. They're fine if you leave them for one to two days. But anything longer than that, I would definitely go and pull them from your, your clutch. So here I'm just wiping off the bottom a bit, get some of that Coco Mojo off. And I'm just going to place them on here. And now I'm going to go show you guys how I wash the female and how I wash the tub. So here's her tub and basically what I like to do is just get paper towel and some chlorhexidine and I just soak where the girl was with the eggs. And you might notice I do have some urates in here around the corners. I usually leave those in when the girl's pregnant just to make her feel more comfortable because I find they tend to scent a lot when they're pregnant or gravid. So if you just let the scent stay in there, they're not going to try to do it all the time. It's a little more safer for them instead of getting their eggs all dirty. So all I do is wipe this very thoroughly, especially where the eggs are, or eggs were. And I just like to go to where the urates were and wipe those as well. And then I like to take all the cocoa that was at the front and push it towards the back because there was no egg smell on that and take the cocoa from the back and put it to the front just to get a nice mixture of scents inside of here. Now I'm going to go add some cocoa in here and then put her back in her tub. So basically how I clean my females is I take some Dawn soap and when it's about this much filled I go and add it to the top with water and dilute it with water and then I have my snake right down here which just laid and I just like to have the water running out of room room temperature about and then I'll just take some of the soap put it in my hands get it all lathered up and I'll grab the snake and just run my hands through the belly just making sure I get most of that egg scent off and the eggs are usually towards the end of the tail so the end of the tail is where I focus the most time on get the whole snake really quickly then rinse it off you might want to rinse it a few times just to make sure that you don't leave any soap in the scales because it will dry out the scales So rinse it very thoroughly just so that we don't have any more soap because the soap will uh, dry out the scales which is very not good for the snake. So we're just going to go and I'll put her back in her clean tub. So now that I have the female washed and the bin washed, I'm going to separate these eggs because they do not fit inside of the bin without touching the top. And you definitely do not want this touching the top because the top will accumulate with uh, little water droplets from the humidity and when your egg gets wet, it's detrimental to its health. It'll usually mold out and you'll lose your egg. 
So I'm just going to go and place these right down here and just try to slowly peel them apart. So these are a day older, so they are going to be a little more attached than usual. So I'm just going to be extra careful. And it just will come off in one nice piece. Perfect. There's one egg. Oh, we got a little bit of a tear here. So I actually do not have my tape out right now, so I'm gonna go grab my tape real quick and we'll keep recording this right after that. So I just went to grab my tape and I just used scotch tape, so I'll find out where the hole is once I separate the eggs, wipe it down with the towel a bit, and then we'll get it taped up so it can make it full term. And it looks like it's on the bottom egg, so I'm just gonna try to get this top egg off in one piece. Perfect. Slowly roll it. There we go. That's two. We just get these two apart without losing too much more fluid. They're perfect. So as you can see right here, we have a little hole in the egg. So what I'm just gonna do is dab off all the fluid that came out. Make sure it's nice and dry. And when you're doing this, you definitely do not want to squeeze the egg. It's best to hold the eggs from these two sides because you're not applying any pressure to let any of the fluid out of the egg. So that seems about right. A little piece of tape. A little bit goes a long way. So right there, just get that. And perfect, it should make it. So now I'm just gonna go turn the lights off candle them and then we'll get them into the incubator so here's the candling I just got a little flashlight here I'm just gonna go look inside the eggs if you remember here's that one I just tore and I can see the embryo is right there it's a little black dot inside it's moving so we have to leave the embryo at the top I'll just check this one the embryo is right there if you see it moving so this one has to be like so. This one right here, whoops. It's okay if you drop it like that, as long as you didn't drop it with a hard impact. It's right there, looks good. And the very last one, looks like we got it right there is the embryo. This one has a little bit of weaker veins, but I'm sure it's still gonna make it. So now we're gonna go get this into the incubator and that'll pretty much be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.